It was triple witching day, but the angels continue to bless the stock market. Street Street today for the September series on a good note. Remember, for most of the day, we were off. And there was a belief that we will close at about 4,900 on the Nifty. But uh, that took a change in the last 60 minutes of trade. A massive amount of short covering and that brought that sharp spike towards the end. Closing near the day's high, not quite making it to 5,000, but very close to that big mark. Let's get you D Street highlights for the September series. Big gains coming in from both uh, Sensex and Nifty. Remember, we've extended this rally ever since March 9th. So it's a big win there. Fed finance, dollar declines, emerging market assets up. Call it what you would, but Sensex and Nifty up 6.5% for September. CNX Midcap as well outperforms 8.8% and so does the small cap side up 7% in the month of September. So nice amount of broad-based participation clearly visible. The best performers in sectors, auto once again 13.8% higher. You've also got metals which is a close second finishing 13% higher and real estate follows suit 7.5% in terms of gains. You also had a nice amount of performance from oil and gas which is up about 3 percent and a lot of variety of stocks uh, which did even better than those returns as spelled out. Tata Motors once again 24 and a half percent. Remember today there was commentary from Jaguar as well that they are consolidating their plants in England into one. Hindalco as well strong 23 percent. SPI up 21 percent in the September series. Uh, so nice healthy amount of participation and uh, really uh, big moves coming in in the month of September. But move uh, quickly to the futures and options update and how we are poised going into October. Shakti Patra has been charting the trend line which seems to indicate more and more of a bullish note. Shakti, the month of October now with September behind us on a firm note. Exactly, Namrata. And uh, today's move probably told you exactly what's uh, going to come in October. Uh, if I can uh, take you back to the same trend line that uh, we have been watching for the for the last uh, six months now, you have this big trend line from the start uh, in here, March lows, March 9th lows. And this has been the rock bottom, uh, the big uh, backbone of this market, uh, given support to us uh, for the last six months. And you can call it the, bull, uh, the backbone of this bull market. But the big breakout actually happened when we took out this resistance line, joining the 352 week highs, 4691, 4731, 4743. And if you can see after that, we have never even come close to it. Now today you had enough reason to come back to around these levels and maybe the market wanted to find support here before taking out higher levels 5100 and 5300. Uh, you had enough reasons to believe that because since yesterday 230 there was a lot of unwinding at the 5000 put about 25 lakh shares getting out of the system which told you probably that you probably will settle closer to 4900 than 5000 but the trend line probably tells you the story nobody is even willing to come uh, uh, to let the nifty come to 4800 before you uh, buy into this market uh, 4900 put uh, was adding open interest 5000 put shading open interest right till the end probably told you that uh, the market expected settlement closer to 4900 but, but not uh, close to 5000 but around 3 o'clock the big move happened uh, you got a surge all the way from 45, 4950 right till 40, 5016, uh, which meant that again, you are about uh, 200, 200 points higher from these two trend lines. So even if you get a 5% caught on the Nifty, you have two big supports uh, waiting in there. We're starting the October series uh, with a put call ratio for October around 1.39. Having seen 2.7 in September, that probably tells you that uh, we have a lot of upside uh, to go forward to in October. Okay. Tubar.com.